All right, what's up, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn? How are y'all doing tonight? This is TK from Comic and Sire and the Gulf Coast CW Superfans. Hope y'all having a great Friday night. So, yes, we wanted to talk about some cool stuff tonight. So, uh, just first off, I wanted to give a little of announcement. So, uh, some cool stuff. We are two weeks away from Pensacon. This is going to be an epic event. If you've never been to Pensacon, I mean, this is, you know, one of the greatest events in the country. So epic. We're going to be out there with the Gulf Coast CW, and we're going to be doing the uh, CW Superfans panel slash. It's going to be kind of like a game show as well. It's going to be pretty epic. Hope uh, to see y'all out there because uh, we're going to be on the panel. We're going to have a lot of our celebrity friends out there as well. We're going to be, of course, doing all the great celebrity interviews for Pensacon. And it's going to be a fun event, fun weekend. They're going to keep it safe. Everybody's going to be wearing masks, you know, and you know, you don't have to during photo ops or anything like that. So it's going to be a pretty fun event. And yeah, so, I mean, the, these people, they they should get a award for how awesome their Comic-Con is. But, uh, no, so off of that, we're going to be talking about tonight, you know, uh, a bootlegged video game system. So uh, pretty funny if you see the... Uh, the system I got, you know, if you go on Amazon or, you know, any of the Walmart, wherever you shop, you can get the, uh, you know, the mini systems, like the mini uh, Nintendo, the mini uh, Super Nintendo, the mini PlayStation. So we went to Amazon and uh, I saw the mini Nintendo and y'all have seen videos, we've actually had the system. I ended up uh, re-gifting it to a friend, you know, just so... Their family could, uh, you know, cameraman Mike, you know, I was like, all right. You know, Christmas came late last year on paycheck, so I was like, all right, I'm just going to give that to cameraman Mike and his, you know, for him and his family. But, uh, no, so I wanted to rebuy one, so, uh, because the cool stuff on, I mean, the, the NES Mini was pretty awesome, but, uh, you know, it had, like, 30 games on it, so, uh, I saw this, it said, you know, uh, and the Nintendo look, you know, it uh, said 620 games, so, uh, yeah, it's uh, 620 games on there, but uh, let's check this out, because this is pretty funny, it's a bootleg video game system, I mean, when you see the actual system, it says, uh, instead of, you know, Nintendo Entertainment System, it's... It's an entertainment system. But uh, they got some cool, great Nintendo games on there. Uh, but a lot of it's uh, it's like the Japanese uh, you know, bootleg versions or versions that came out before the actual games were finalized. Like before they went through their last production. And yeah, let's check this out. I mean, it's got a lot of cool stuff. But uh, no, uh, one of the things I wanted to start with was uh, like Ninja Turtles. And believe it or not, for the most part, this is not the movie version. This is an actual, the original NES Ninja Turtles, which was pretty epic. I mean, this is a pretty good video game. to try to make it through a round for y'all. But uh, yeah, like this is the OG Ninja Turtles, not uh, including like the arcade stuff. The arcade stuff is a lot more advanced. stuff on there, like a lot of cool stuff, but the funny thing is, it's not even labeled Nintendo, even though it's a Nintendo mini system, if you see this in the background, it, it's it's just crazy, it's fun, it's cool, and one of the things I wanted to joke on was like, well, say Mario, right, the best example, oh, 
The Mario 14, apparently. This is what cracked me up. It's a, uh, a Mario that, uh, you know, it's got some cool stuff, but you know how Mario's whole thing is he jumps on turtles or, you know, this is how, this is how, how you kill the bad guys this time. But if you actually jump on them, And uh, if you're a video game fan, you want to check this out because this is a, just some awesome stuff. I mean, they actually do have some pretty cool actual video games on there. Like I said, a lot of the Nintendo stuff, but uh, some of it that didn't get made the final production. So, uh, like, they have a, a Goonies game on here. They got, you know, the Friday the 13th video game. And they got another, a lot of stuff that's like, you pretty much have to decipher it to, uh, you know, check out all the cool stuff on it. But, uh, trying to find something uh, fun to play real quick. Or they're like Ghostbusters. They, they pretty much hit that in there. But, uh,. To choose what to choose, no, not the goonies. Oh, here's the final one Friday the 13th. I think I've talked about this earlier. So this game, was the funny thing is, in production, they didn't make it like this version that had the, the hockey mask on its face, so... of a bootleg system. <laughs> but no, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Like... Oh, let's go to the third one down. The, uh... so, uh... Let's go to the, uh... yeah, <laughs> Color of the Angels. <laughs> stuff you'll find on no, no other system. That's why it cracks me up. Check it out. Love cool stuff. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's great to have fun on a little system that has, I mean, everything Double Dragon and, you know, just different versions of video games, like, I mean, a lot of cool stuff. Even Tiny Tunes, but you know, uh... Oh shit. Is that the actual... No way! Y'all have a great night. It's TK from Comic Sire. We will see you in the multiverse. And we'll see you at Pensacon. TGIF. Remember, uh, this is the only channel that has a clean bill of health from Dr. Doom, Dr. Strange, Dr. Fate, Dr. Who. We will see you in the multiverse. We'll see you at Pensacon. God run. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men. And you should like, subscribe, watch, and tell all your other friends to like and subscribe, Comic Insider. Yes, I will. Yeah, I mean, I will. I'll let you down and find you. I'm afraid, you know. You probably be wrong.